Hi everyone, welcome to Plar Academy. I really hope this video helps you out. If it does, I'd super appreciate it if you could subscribe to my channel, give this video a like, share it with your friends and leave a positive comment. Your support really keeps me motivated to create more great videos for you. What we'll cover. I've broken down the content in Unit 2, Waves and Electricity, just like you see here. And I've made sure to cover every topic exactly according to the Physics International A-Level Edexcel syllabus, which you can see right here. In this video, we're diving into Topic 4, Electricity, specifically focusing on electrical power. Let's get started! Electrical power. The electrical power, P, is the work done W, or energy transfer E, per unit time T. We can write the equation as P equals W divided by T, where P is the electrical power in watts, W is the work done, or energy transferred in joule and T is the time in seconds. One watt is equivalent to one joule per second. The electrical power, P, of an appliance, or components, is related to its resistance, R, the voltage V, across it and the current, I, flowing through it. We can write the equation as P equals V I or equal I squared, R or equal V squared over R, where V is voltage in volt, I is the current in ampere, and R is the resistance in ohm. We can derive the formula of P equals V I as follows. From the formula V equals W over Q, and rearranging the equation as W equals VQ. Substituting W equals VQ into P equals W over T, like this. And I equals Q over T. So, P equals VI. We can derive the formula of P equals I squared R as follows. From the formula P equals VI and V equals RI. Substituting V equals RI into P equals VI, like this. So, P equals I squared R. We can derive the formula of P equals V squared over R as follows. From the formula V equals RI, and rearranging the equation, as I equals V over R. Substituting I equals V over R into P equals VI, like this. So, P equals V squared over R. Electrical energy, we can write the formula as E equals VIT. We can derive this equation as follows. From the equation P equals energy transferred E over T and rearranging the equation as E equals PT. Substituting P equals VI into this equation like this. So, we get the equation E equals VIT. Two resistors, 20 ohms and 10 ohms, are connected in series to a 12 volt power supply, as shown. Which resistor will dissipate the highest power? Resistors X and Y are connected in series, meaning the same current flows through both. According to the power equation P equals I squared R, power is directly proportional to resistance when current is constant. Therefore, the resistor with the highest resistance will dissipate the highest power. In this case, resistor X, with a resistance of 20 ohms, will dissipate the highest power. Two resistors, 20 ohms and 10 ohms, are connected in parallel to a 12 volt power supply, as shown. Which resistor will dissipate the highest power? Resistors X and Y are connected in parallel, meaning the same potential difference, PD, is across both. According to the power equation P equals V squared over R, power is inversely proportional to resistance when voltage is constant. Therefore, the resistor with the lowest resistance will dissipate the highest power. In this case, resistor Y, with a resistance of 10 ohms, will dissipate the highest power. Three resistors are connected in parallel across a power supply, as shown. The power dissipated in each of the resistors of resistance 2 ohms, 3 ohms and 4 ohms is P2, P3 and P4, respectively. What is the ratio P2 to P3 to P4? From the equation P equals V squared over R. 
The voltage V across each resistor is the same as the EMF of the power supply, because the resistors are connected in parallel. So, the power dissipated at each resistor is inversely proportional to its resistance. This gives us the ratio P2 to P3 to P4 equals 1 over 2 to 1 over 3 to 1 over 4. We simplify the ratio by multiplying each term by 12, like this. We get the ratio as 6 to 4 to 3. In the circuit shown, a fixed resistor X is connected in series with a battery and a variable resistor. The power dissipated in resistor X is 7.2 watts when a current of 3.0 amperes passes through it. The variable resistor is adjusted so that the power dissipated in X increases by 50%. What is the new current in the circuit? From the equation P equals I squared R. Substituting P equals 7.2 watts and I equals 3 amperes. We get the resistance Rx equals 0 0.8 ohms. As the power dissipated Px increases 50%, which is 1.5 times 7.2 watts equals 10.8 watts. Substituting Px equals 10.8 watts, Rx equals 0 0.8 ohms. We get the new current equals 3.7 amperes for two significant figures. I really hope this video helps you out. If it does, I'd super appreciate it if you could subscribe to my channel, give this video a like, share it with your friends and leave a positive comment. Your support really keeps me motivated to create more great videos for you.